Hello everyone. So let us discuss the dependency injection concept via code. So first of all, I'm going to create a class called base class. And inside this class, I will add two variables. So public string or let me make it private. Private string feature name and private string scenario name. I'm going to generate the getter method so that you can access the value of this two variable. As well as I'm going to add one constructor which will initialize the value for this one, these two variables. So let's say feature name is BDD and scenario name is dependency injection that is DI. So this is our feature file and for this we have a step definition. So this is the step definition file. Now assume that the step definition class that is post step definition has a dependency on the base class. That means this class needs these two variables for its computation. So one straightforward approach is to create the object of base class over here. So like private base class object equal to new base class. Okay. Or other than this, we can use the concept of dependency injection, which is provided by the Cucumber framework using Pico container. So in that case, I don't need to worry about creating the object. By that Pico container framework, it will all automatically create the object and provide to the post step definition. So as I told you earlier, there are different types of dependency injection. The one which we are going to discuss is constructor injection. That means after creating the object of this class, we are going to provide to our step definition class via constructor. So in that case, there are two steps which you need to follow. The first one is to create a reference variable in the dependent class and second step to initialize the reference variable via constructor. So first I'm going to create a private variable, private variable which is of type base class base class after that i will create the constructor so post definition and here i will supply the type as base class and after that i am going to initialize the local variable okay so now during the runtime, the Pico container framework will automatically create the object of this class and inject into the post step definition class via constructor. So the object which will get created will be supplied to this class via this one. Okay. So here I'm going to modify our step definition to access the variable which is present inside the base class. So I will use base class dot get feature name as well as for the second variable that is get scenario name okay now at any point if this variable does not get initialized then we will get a null pointer exception because currently it's a null reference 
so I'm going to put a breakpoint over here as well as here in the constructor and as you can see here inside this class we are not creating the object of base class everything is going via dependency injection so now let me run this in a debug mode so here is the runner and debug as JUnit so as you can see here now because of the Pico container framework first it will create the object of the base class as you can see here when it create the object of the base, base class automatically the constructor got invoked and after that it is going to inject in our post step definition class via constructor so here if you look at the base class which is coming is this object so here is the base class and you can see here these are the information which got initialized here so we have initialized this variable and the reason why I did that so that you can access this information that is the feature name as well as scenario name in your current class which is post step definition so let me put a big point here also now if I analyze this one so you can see here this is the value which is coming from okay 